Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my review of Five Survive. Um, basically, a new thing that I'm going to do on my channel is I'm just going to sort of give a more in-depth review after each book that I read and just upload it rather than wait for a wrap-up at the end of the month. So that's the long story short of that. Uh, but yeah, I thought I would share my review of Five Survive. It's the first book that I finished in February. I'm quite slow this month but it's okay it doesn't matter um so yeah let's just get into it okay so five survive by holly jackson um so this book follows a group of young adults like age 18 to 21 so we've got red Raina, and maddie and then simon arthur and oliver <laughs> um they are traveling in an rv in simon's uncle's rv from Philadelphia to the Gulf Coast for spring break um, and then on the way during the night the pod and on taking a stop at a campsite so on the way there obviously they lose signal on the road they take a wrong turn and yeah they just end up in the middle of a field in the middle of nowhere and that's basically how it sets the scene of the story and how and where the story is going to be set um, and yeah, they get in a bit of trouble with a sniper who um, holds them hostage there, but we don't know why yet. So that's basically like the premise of the book, like why has this sniper sort of left them there? How did he even know they were there? Because how would you know that the group are just going to turn onto the wrong path? Do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's the basic premise of the book. Um, I'll tell you my rating now and I did rate it at three stars. Okay so there are some trigger warnings with this book and it's mainly just about, it talks about death, it talks about shooting and there's like blood talk and that's pretty much it. Um, so it's not too triggering but obviously like it's nice to know. Okay so I did really like the premise of this book, I think it's not often in thrillers that it's about like a sniper so I think it was quite different it was nice to have a different storyline to go with because with me reading thrillers quite a lot all the stories can be the same like can sort of merge into one and sometimes I struggle with what book I'm reading at the time because I'm like this kind of sounds similar to another one so I am really glad that it was like a different type of thriller and I don't think I've ever read a book that involves a sniper attack before so that was quite good and um, the start of it is quite predictable like I've kind of already mentioned with the way of setting the story you sort of know how it's going to be set you know well to be fair you know when you read the blurb it's just going to be predictable of how they're going to get stranded and like losing signal and stuff and where they're going to be stranded in a random field where no one can see you with no signal those types of things but um yeah that's just how it is isn't it they've just got to set the scene i think like the first 50 pages probably we're talking about setting the scene and talking a little bit about the characters and a bit about their personalities there wasn't much about um the characters personalities in the start of the story it was just more descriptiveness of where they were going and the scene and things like that and um, so i'd say probably after the first 50 pages was when the book actually really started when it started actually getting into the story in more depth so i would say the first half of the book didn't actually really hit the mark for me i felt like it was like a bit dragged out not much was happening but it felt like too much was happening like if you've ever read a book where it feels like so much is happening so quickly but then also nothing's happening and it's not going fast enough that's kind of how it felt for me i don't really know if anyone's ever felt that reading a book before if you have then let me know um but yeah i think the second half of the book was a lot more enjoyable it was a lot more evenly paced um the secrets started coming out and we learned more about the characters and just the second half of the book was a lot easier to read i felt like i was plowing through the first half of the book like I was reading it and the pages were getting down um but it just like i said it didn't feel like anything was happening so the second half of the book was a bit better it was a more enjoyable read more easy read to get through and you know you sort of understand what's going on more in the second half of the book i feel like it's more explained in detail so 
there's that. The story like as a whole um, was okay, like it tied it well from beginning to end and that's what I really like in a book. I feel like if you can tie off all of the characters and you can tie off the whole story then you've done it really well. Some people do leave out little um, characters, they forget about characters, the side characters or they forget about a little plot in the book that they've dropped in there that you might not necessarily think that the reader's going to care about but you know we want to know the answer to and um, so yeah it did tie off well like nothing was left unspoken it was all covered quite well so I was quite happy about that I felt like some parts of the book could have been left out um just more for the sake of a few characters because bless the hearts like yeah if you've read it then you'll probably know which characters I'm talking about but some of them could have been a bit could have been left out a bit like it there was no need for it really um there were a couple of cliffhangers in the book and it was like halfway through where I was more eager to read on with the cliffhangers and um, to see what actually happened next but I wouldn't say there was like any major plot twists from my experience of reading I felt like it was just focusing on the one story the whole time and the one main outcome the whole time and that was it there was no in between um, sort of thing which you usually do get with filler books and I don't know if that's why I kind of found it a bit difficult to read because it was enticing me to read on but not in the way where another thriller would because it had other plot twists because this was just literally one main one main like reasoning to get to the end <laughs> what am I even saying yeah it was just it was just one main plot is what I'm trying to say but failing to say so yeah it did throw in like a couple of character secrets to sort of like throw you off what could have possibly happened I mean I couldn't have guessed what would have happened anyways because there was no hinting towards it no actually there was little hints through the book um, but none that you would take as little hints where you would actually turn around and guess it and be like oh my god this is what's gonna happen sort of thing um so yeah I kind of liked that because it was like it was in the book from the beginning to the end but it just it was so subtle so you just wouldn't have picked up on the information of it being a major a major thing I am glad that I didn't guess the ending Um, I was kind of shocked I was like a little taken aback because like I've said it just it was so subtle so you wouldn't have guessed it Um. So because you feel like it hasn't been brought up that many times or spoke about that many times, it's just that that way of it and then the way it ended, you're sort of like, hmm, like it shouldn't have ended this way. But maybe it's just because I had an idea in my head of how I wanted it to end and it didn't end that way. <laughs> so I wasn't thinking about it. Um, but yeah, the author did, like I've said, the author did do a good job of hiding the information quite well so then we wouldn't guess it I mean if you've read this book and you have guessed the ending then well done to you you're clearly a much better detective than I am but yeah I kind of liked the whole subtlety and the shockness that it gave me at the end where I was like oh god that's you know that's kind of strange not like in other thrillers where you're sort of like yeah fair enough like not something I might have guessed or I kind of had an inkling but not major enough to let me care enough. I think all the characters in this book were very likeable except Oliver. I don't think he needed to be a prick that much that he was but it kind of made it better in a way because like I feel like I didn't care about the characters enough to an extent where if one of them was killed or something happened to one of them I would be bothered by it, um, except maybe if it was Oliver. But yeah, we just don't like Oliver. He's just a smarmy little git. Like, oh, uh, yeah. But, you know, we, you've got to have a bad character in it sometimes, and obviously the character is very well written for me to dislike him that much. So, so like I've said, overall, I would probably rate this book a three stars. I was different between three and four, but um, I decided on three in the end. I am being a bit more harsh with my ratings this year just because I think last year I tried to rate every single book of five stars <laughs> and obviously you can't have five star reads all the time can you so but to be fair for me three star is really good three star means I enjoyed the book I would probably recommend it to a small group of people but it didn't blow me away enough 
feel like if it was one of those books that I wanted to keep on picking up it would have been a four or five stars but because I wasn't that bothered about picking it up and you know the story wasn't flowing as naturally as any other one would it just t took it down to three stars so yeah I wouldn't not recommend Holly Jackson's books and I will still read more of her books because I do like her writing style um but yeah I don't think anything will con can compare to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder not even the series just the first book because the series sort of went downhill for me but yeah uh so hopefully that in-depth review has worked more than if I was going to do it on a roundup I've kind of liked how I've done this just because I've remembered the information I've actually remembered the characters names I've re remembered what the book is about and then I can give my thoughts more easier um so then if you people are looking for recommend you people <laughs> if you guys are looking for recommendations on anything then hopefully you can you know get some insight into what the book's like from my more in-depth review <laughs> So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I would recommend this to people who do like thrillers and who do like to not necessarily be confused by a storyline because I don't think the storyline was confusing because like I said, it was just one main storyline. So if you're out there and you like just the one main thing to focus on, then this book's for you. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and look out for my next review.